Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is another interesting question. First let me explain what is the question is about. Then we will see how to resolve this question using SQL. So we are provided with a table of one column which is of number data type. And this table contains few numbers like 1, 2, 3, 11, 22, 33. The expectation here is we need to write a query which will sort the number such a way that we should get 1, 11 followed by 2, 22 and followed by 3, 33. So the expectation here is we need to write a query to sort the given input such a way that all the numbers starting with 1 should come first followed by all the numbers starting with 2 and followed by all the numbers starting with 3. And again within that the numbers should get sorted accordingly. It should not come something like 11 and 1. It should come 111. Suppose if there is one more number let's assume that 110 and 119. Then the expected output should be like 1, 11, 110, 119 then followed by 2, 22, 3, 33. So this is the expectation. Now let's see how to implement this logic using SQL. I already created the table so I'm just dropping and recreating the table. Now the table is dropped. I'm creating the table. Table name is T and with one column and the column name is C of number data type. I'm populating some sample data into this table. I'm committing the information. Yeah, let's query from the table. Select star from T. Yeah, now let's write to sort the numbers as per our expected output. Select C from T. Right. The very first and very simple and easiest method is to convert this number into a character and then to sort. For example, you just say order by C. By default, when you say order by C, since the column is of number data type, it will obviously sort by considering this as a number. But instead of that, what we are going to do, I am just going to convert this number into a character data type. The easiest option is to use the to care function. So this function will convert the input number into a character. Now we are, we are converting into a character and then we are sorting. So it is not treated as a number while sorting, instead it is treated as a character. So automatically the 1, 11 start coming first followed by 2, 22 and 3, 33. This is one option. Now let's see one more option. So instead of 2 care, now what I am going to use is, of course the logic is almost the same, instead of 2 care I am just using the cast function here. Cast C as var care 2 of 10 or 100. So this query is also almost the same. Instead of the to care function to convert the character a number into a character, I am using the cast function to convert the number into a character. So both are exactly the same. Let's see one more method to implement the same functionality. Select C from T order by now what I'm going to do order by C I'm just concatenating an empty string here. So basically what will happen here is whenever you are concatenating a number with a string character automatic Oracle will implicitly convert the character number data type into a character data type. So that's what is happening here. So we are not doing anything. We are not using a function. We are not using a cast function. Simply we are just appending a empty string. So in this case Oracle automatically converts the given number into a character and then it is ordering based on this. Let's see one more method. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the substring function. So from C, from the input, I'm using substring of C comma 1 comma 1. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm just extracting the first character from the given input. So what the substring function will basically do is whenever we are giving the input. So in this case, what for whatever the input we are giving here, it will extract the first character. And 
it will automatically convert the output into a character data type. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to use the same thing. Order by the first character. But here if you see like 111 came first, but 22, then 2, 33, 3. This is not our expected output. So what we can do within, see now we have sorted based on the first character of the number. Now we within that we need to sort based on the number. So what we can do is we can just put C again. Now if you see we just got 1, 11, 2, 22, 3, 33. Anyway, this is not needed to display. So let's remove from the expected output. This is the fourth method. Let's see one more method to implement the same functionality without using to care cast C or substring. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just using the same now I'm going to use another function called ASCII and I'm just giving the input as T. So what this ASCII function will do is it will it will take the character or a string as an input and it will return the ASCII value of the first character. For example, in this case, if you see ASCII value of 1 is 49, ASCII value of 1 is 49. So in both these cases, it returns the ASCII value of the very first character. So in this case, if you see ASCII value of 2 is 50, same thing. In this case, ASCII value of 2 is 50. That is the ASCII value of the first character. Same thing happens here also. So now using the ASCII value, we can order it. Let's say order by ASCII. Again, very similar to the fourth example. So within, within the section, we need to order based on the number. So I'm just putting comma C. So here are the five different methods we have used to implement this simple logic. So here is the query for your reference. So this is the first method, very simple. We are just using the to care function to convert the input number into a character and then we are sorting. Almost the second method is also exactly the same. Instead of using to care function, here I'm just using the cast function. So both are, both are exactly same whether we are using a two car or cast, both will convert the given input number into a character data type. Let's see the third method. So third method also exactly the same. I'm just concatenating with an empty string so that the number will get automatically converted. So this is an implicit conversion. So the number will get implicitly converted into a character data type. So this is also very similar to the first two cases where if you used two car cast functions. And the next method is we have used the substring function so this is slightly different from the above three method because here we are not uh, explicitly converting. Oracle automatically converts whenever we are giving an input to the substring. This, so the substring function returns as a character data type. It won't return as a number data type. It will return as a character. Within that, I want to again sort based on this. Otherwise, it will be slightly uh, incorrect output. Right. The final method we have seen is using ASCII function. So basically what this ASCII function will do is ASCII function will return the ASCII value of the very first character because our intention is to sort based on the first character so that the 1 and 11 will come first followed by 2 and 22. But within that I just want to again sort based on the number column so that this section will come in a proper within 1 and 11 I want to I want the 1 to come first 11 to come second. So for this very simple example we are able to implement these five different types of implementation. Of course, this can be implemented in much other methods as well. So the actual learning from this video is how to implement a very simple functionality using five different logics like this, using two care, cast, a simple concatenation, using a substring and then ASCII. Where is, because this is the actual learning. When you're trying a simple question like this with a multiple options, that is where we will we will actually able to learn the all the available options in oracle or with respect to any language if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been answered or posted as part of the interview question series or as part of subscriber question series if you're not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post us a new video if you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video.